People are sometimes curious about how I got involved in meditation. And the way it happened was like this. When I was in my early 30s, I was working as a corporate PR person for an agency in London. We had a very um, beautiful suite of offices overlooking Trafalgar Square, really at the heart of things. And I had a busy job um, looking after a number of corporate clients. One day I was at my desk and it seemed to me I'd been bitten by an ant. So I sort of leaned down and scratched my right ankle and thought nothing of it. But as subsequent days went by, I kept on being bitten in different places, my left ankle, my left leg, um, my wrists, my back, all over the place, until I realized this was no ant, there's something else going on. So I went off to see the doctor and he said, yes, you have some sort of allergic reaction. Who knows what to, could be any one of a number of things, but I'll prescribe you some antihistamine pills and every time you feel a bit itchy, just pop one of these and you'll be fine. And so that's exactly what I did. And I was fine. But I thought, you know, I can't spend the rest of my life with a little bottle of, um, of pills in my pocket waiting to get itchy again. So it just so happened that a um, naturopath sent out a mailer, uh, which arrived on my doorstep one day, saying, come along and have a discussion if you have any allergies or intolerances or what have you, and see whether I can sort them out. So I went along to see her, and uh, she went through everything that I ate and drank on a daily basis, and suggested that drinking six cups of coffees was maybe not such a good idea. Uh, for caffeine intolerant people, which I might well be, and in fact I am. But she also said, David, you are systemically stressed, mind and body stressed, and the best thing you can do to deal with that is to meditate. Now, I'd covered meditation a bit when I studied psych at uni, but I um, didn't really know much about it. I'd certainly never tried to do it personally. And I felt a bit of an idiot as I sat in our little attic room, which was directly on Heathrow Air Path, um, with every 30 seconds another rumbling jet went overhead, as trying to count my breaths in cycles of four. Of course, my mind was all over the place apart from my breath. Um, but that's part of the course when you start to meditate. But I thought what I'll do is I'll give it a fair crack, a fair go, as they say in Australia, for a couple of months. And if it works after eight months, after eight weeks, I could put hand on my heart and say, I gave it a crack and either it worked or it didn't work. So we'll see. And I realized that it worked after about six weeks. And what happened was I was going to work one day and everything that could go wrong seemed to go wrong. So there's this tidal wave of mud that came from a construction site that um, ran out under some corrugated iron over my recently polished black shoes. And there was uh, an incident on the train when my face was directly in the armpit of the person who was so congested. And everything that seemed to go wrong at work was you know, trying to send out media releases which wouldn't go through the fax machines and all those problems technological we had to deal with back in the 1990s. Uh, so basically, halfway through the morning, things culminated with a, a client meeting which went really badly. And I asked myself, why am I feeling so angry and agitated today? And it was then that I realized I haven't meditated for three days. Life had actually got in the way. And for whatever reason, I just hadn't done it. And without realizing it, that protective barrier, the protective, protective layer that I've been building up uh, as a result of meditation was no longer there. There's a Buddhist sage called Shanti Deva who once said, I can't cover the entire world with leather to avoid stepping on thorns, but I can wear a pair of shoes. And I discovered the truth of that for myself. The reality is that meditation is highly effective at all forms of stress management. Of course, that's only the start of the meditation journey, um, but that was a start and I, that was 20 years ago and I've never looked back.